Hey there, David Chinelli here, Realtor with Wireless Page Signature. Today's home tip is about installing the proper doggy door for your furry little friend. Now, if you are installing a doggy door, which could be a great thing for your furry little friend, that way they can come in and out of the home with leisure. Make sure you keep an eye on them; they don't stay outside too long or get dog napped. But one of the issues with the some of the sorry, not one of the issues, a few of the issues with these doggy doors can arise if you're not getting some high-end product. The first thing is if you get a cheaper doggy door, there's a flap on the, the on the door that allows the dog to come in and out, or sometimes the cat if you have a cat that's coming in and out of the house. The cheaper end products, sometimes that flap can get stuck and it can lock your animal inside or outside of the home. So if your dog needs to use the washroom and it gets caught inside, obviously you're gonna have a problem. Or you don't also don't wanna lock your dog outside too long, they may be caught in the cold. The second issue that we're seeing if you don't get a high-end product is that the cheaper ones don't really have a good locking mechanism. Now a locking me mechanism will, will obviously lock the door so you know rodents or other animals can't get inside your home, but also can prevent a burglar if you do have a larger doggy door. It would prevent a burglar from breaking into your home. And finally, the last pitfall I've seen with the cheaper end products is that there may be some energy loss. The higher end products really can seal the whole door so you won't be losing you know, hot or cold air in the winter and in the summer months. So do yourself a favor, do some research before installing a doggy door. I think they're great for your furry little friend, but make sure that you get the right product for your animal. Have a great day. Bye for now.